This is typical, right? Walking through the halls of Groves, you may see heavily made up freshman girls with blown out hair and strategically planned outfits alongside seniors in sweats. A typical high school girl spends a vast amount of time in the morning picking out clothes, doing her hair, and applying makeup, while a typical boy just rolls out of bed and is out the door. Is there a statistical significance for this difference in time? Do freshmen take the longest out of each grade to get ready? Do girls actually spend more time in the morning than boys? The magnificent statisticians Alicia and Eleanor wanted to find out. They picked one class to represent each grade and handed out surveys asking the students their grade, gender, and the number of minutes it takes them to get ready for school in the morning. We are confident that our sample matches the population because we randomly selected classes and surveyed 25 students from each grade, which is less than 10% of the population. We avoided bias by selecting core classes because those are required of each student. We also avoided bias by surveying students from each grade. We blocked by gender so we could compare the results between males and females. The surveys were distributed to the students by the teacher in each class we surveyed. The survey looked like this. After we collected the data, we analyzed and found the mean and standard deviation of each group. For each grade, the mean amount of time it takes girls to get ready in the morning is always bigger than the mean amount of time it takes the boys to get ready in the morning. On average, freshmen take the most amount of time to get ready and the time steadily decrease as the grades go up. However, we can't assume these patterns are significant without running a two-sample t-test. Before you run a t-test, there are two conditions that must be met. The data must be normally distributed and independent. We took care of independence by randomizing in our data collection process, and as you can see by the histogram, the data is normally distributed. The blue curve shows a normal distribution, and our data is a pretty good match. Now that we have met the conditions, we can follow through with a two-sample t-test that will help us determine if there is, in fact, a difference between the genders and grades. We will be testing two hypotheses here. The first, the null hypothesis, states that there is no difference in the two categories we are comparing, and the second, the alternative, states that there is. Our variable x stands for the time and minutes it takes the students to get ready. We went through and ran 12 tests. We compared underclassmen to upperclassmen, males to females, each grade to the others, and then males and females within each grade. Of the 12, we found 3 to be significant at the .05 level. To be significant, the p-value found from the test must be less than 0.05. If it is significant, then we have enough evidence to reject the null hypothesis, which means that there is a statistical difference in time between the two categories. However, when we reject the null, we cannot accept the alternative. We can only say there is not a difference. The three hypotheses that we were able to reject were underclassmen versus upperclassmen, males versus females, and freshman boys versus freshman girls. We were very close to being able to reject freshmen versus seniors with a p-value of 0.096. Our project proved that there is a significant difference between some of the categories, although they couldn't all be proven. We did observe a noticeable difference between the means. Our data collection process went very smoothly. If we could change anything, we would have liked to survey more students, but that would violate the rule that says you can't survey more than 10% of the population. We can expand our study by including young children and adults. Another aspect we could further study is if there is a relationship between how long it takes people to get ready in the morning and the amount of sleep they get. 